What's up, guys? Uh, through five practices and all of OTAs, how would you assess where you stand in the move to center? Are you pleased what you put on tape? Are you pleased how it's going? Uh, you know, just training camp. It's one day at a time. It's a day at a time getting better, working on your craft, fine-tuning your craft. And so, uh, you know, day five in, and so it's just we're grinding right now. It's all about the grind. What did you do between mini camp and training camp to kind of acclimate to playing center? Um, really just stayed in the building, worked with the training staff, worked with the people in the building, uh, get close to everybody and just getting used to this heat, you know, and that's probably the biggest transition. <laughs> so, uh, but just getting comfortable with the, with the spot, with the snaps and everything, getting snaps in with Tua. So just getting comfortable with it. Uh, I hear it feels better here than it does in Texas right now. Uh, that's what I heard, a hot summer, huh? Uh, I, I don't know about this, though. <laughs> what, uh, I feel like when people think about playing center, mm -hmm. obviously not just uh, getting used to snapping the ball, but what else goes into it that people may not think about when they this um, I'd say it's a complete different game. I think it's uh, you're you're having to help both sides of the of the line. You're not just stuck on one line anymore, and so it's a uh, it's a more fuller game. And at the same time, you have to conceptualize the defense and everything to be able to make the right calls. And so just um, playing that new head game and everything. And then, um, uh, like you said, with the snaps, and once you get the snaps down, it's a second hand motion. You know. And with, with snapping, are you happy with how you've done? Are you, are you where you want to be? Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely progressed, and uh, you know, it becomes secondhand where you're not even thinking about it. You're just going back there, and it hits the money. So, how many snaps are you doing per day out of the same shotgun? Um, I mean, I, I I don't count them, but a good handful, and then uh, definitely some some after practice. So just you know, getting that repetition down. So the first time the Dolphins. Told you, hey, we want to, you know, give you a good look at center. Was when? Um, you know, they, they signed me. And I was happy to uh, happy to be here, and they said, uh, I picked you to uh, play a line, and so came here. And then they called me a couple weeks later and said, hey, where do you think we're going to give you a good tryout for uh, center? And so wherever they need me, I always said from day one I'd go. And so I'm happy with where I'm at now. Connor, on the snaps that haven't been exactly where you want them, has it been more too high or too low? Um, you know, it's just uh, in the heat of the moment, having to adjust the defensive calls and everything. They just get off a little bit, just having to readjust it. So just that fine-tuning. Um, you know, that's uh, that fine tunes a craft, and definitely in a uh, an environment like that where it's just completely one on one and no sideboards and everything, um, it comes down to technique, and that's where you can become a technician with the person you're going against, and it's good look for both sides. Does uh, you know, Raekwon's pretty big, so he's uh, he's a good uh, hand to handle, and so he's done a great job, and we've been uh, battling it out. Connor, does that, they're going to be starting tomorrow, right? The pads? Yeah, I mean, the D-line can grab and hold on the jerseys, but once pads come on, it's a different game, so we'll see how it goes tomorrow. And, and, and it's obviously fine-tuning the snap at the center. It's also different with pads, right? Mm-hmm. Kind of a... Uh, most definitely, it's a, it's a little it's a little bit different, but at the same time, it's a it's the same game, it's the same sport. Not too, uh, not too pro in high school. Have you played center? Um, you know, I've just been uh, I've been um, I've been in QC since since I got in the league, just just uh, as backups and whatnot, and just uh, in case of emergency. So just um, just doing that. But at the end of the day, it's uh, snapping snapping is not too bad. It's secondhand nature once you get to it. What is going to be new to you? Mm -hmm. like making the calls when you walk up. Mm -hmm. There's a new responsibility mm -hmm. when you hear it. Like, like mm -hmm. Senator Brett, you talk about the responsibility of that. Now you have to figure right. out you making the calls. Right. Yeah, um, that's definitely been a transition, and I've enjoyed it. Um, playing four years in the league and seeing all these different defenses, you kind of accumulate the um, the knowledge of it, and so uh, that is probably a that's probably a big thing about it. But that I've really enjoyed that process of seeing the defense and seeing the plays come together. So and uh, like that was a good transition from the most definitely. Not to uh, probe into your deepest thoughts, but I did want to ask you one thing. Has there ever been a day going back to May, June, or the first five days of camp where you've walked off the field saying, gee, I wish I was a left guard, or has that never happened? Has it been fun, enjoyable every day? Uh, you know, once uh, you come out here and you give it your best every day, and no matter where you are, uh, 
we're all competitors and we're all athletes and so whatever our craft is we're working on that's the goal and that's the and so there's no time to sit there and uh and look back or look at other spots or or whatnot it's about being present in the moment it's still been fun for you this, this adjustment oh most definitely yeah right, love it a couple more guys i'm curious how you've gone about that process um, I, I've said about the same weight. It's it's mostly about just rehydrating, about getting those waters in after maybe an IV or whatnot. But uh, just you got to keep the keep the hydration up, keep the salts in. So when you come out here, you I mean, heck, you lose eight pounds. So just keeping it up. Some guys say they may come in get to a certain point. Yeah. Do you do any strategy going in? Like, hey, I know I'm lose a certain amount of weight. So yeah, I'm just like like the salt helps you retain a lot of water, and so you, you're, you'll you be up like three, four pounds in the morning just from retaining all that water that you lose by the end of the day. You seem like a thoughtful guy. What do you think they saw in you? What do you your skill set that says, okay? So. Um, I think... Um, you know, I think in uh, inside it's more about, um, like I said, being able to help both sides. Uh, mobility, flexibility, and so just being able to get to the blocks and then at the same time get to the second levels and, and to be able to move quickly on the second level. And so um, I think it's been a good transition. All right, thank you. Thanks, Connor. Connor. Appreciate it. Thank you all. That's it for today, guys. Perfect time. This is the